Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Take the Fear Out of the Gear with me, Mr. Jumbly Warner. And me, Mr. Jason Bangers. How you doing, guys? It's good to be back. Um, we hope you enjoyed the last video with the slapping of my arse cheeks rumbling through the whole country there, Simon. Yes, it was quite amazing. <laughs> I was, I was going to say it's uh, irrepeatable, but you never know. Keep watching this space. Yes. Well, <laughs> what we want to show you today is some uh, a couple of middle-priced guitars, bass guitars. Middle priced range, in fact, very cheap, but very good quality. And one's, well, this one on the table here is a slightly newer one, where the, the next one I'm going to show you is a slightly sort of vintage one. Yeah, see, now we're talking about when you when you say mid range and stuff like that, you tend to think of your squires and this, that, and all the rest of it. But I'll tell you what, this guitar here, so much EQ on it, it's got two pickups on it, it's got a bloody great big humbucker here, and a little one, well, I don't know what they call these. I don't know, as a Pete so brutal. Is that like a single coil, was it? Yeah, single coil, I suppose. I know nothing about guitars and structure of stuff. Um, you got active on-off switch again, which I don't really believe in. There's no point if you've got an active bass, just to have it active all the time. But I'll tell you what, now, this for the money is a whole lot of bass guitar. It's got a lovely neck on it. It's just pure wood. There's no varnish. There's no... No fancy crap on it, so it's just nice, oh. nice wood. Oh, yeah, it's nice neck. And it's yeah, really lovely. nice. It's a really nice... It feels nice, it sits lovely, it's balanced well. I might just have to say a big thank you to my mate Chris Chiddix out there, and uh, which is where this bass guitar come from. It's got a lovely colour, it's a really sexy guitar, it looks pretty, it sounds gorgeous, it plays like a dream. If I put it up on the desk here, you can see it's a, yeah, it's a court guitar. That's what it is, a court, that's a Charlie Oscar a Romeo Tango. And then it's a... Uh, I think we looked on the back. This is a GB series. This is made in Indonesia. Yeah. It's a great, great wood carving nation, the Indonesians. It's a beautiful guitar. It's got this sort of translucent finish, so you can you can see the grain coming through if I hold it up. It's very pretty. Yeah, it's awesome. It's very pretty, and it's a really, really nice guitar to play, and the sound is phenomenal. And I suppose we ought to have a quick shout out to Alan. Alan! Alan, because he's got a court as well, hasn't he? He has got a court, yeah. Uh, when 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 we're out of uh, lockdown, we'll get him to bring it around. Cause it's another court, and that one sounds a bit warwicky, fretlessy, doesn't he? Lovely sound. Yeah, so. it's just a really nice bass. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll, yeah. when when we're when we're allowed to go out, we'll get Alan to come around and show us. We'll get Alan on the show, mate, and yeah. we'll have Chris on the show and all, Mr. Yeah. Chicks. I want you to bring your bass round with those new pickups you've just had put on with the LEDs. Ooh, oh yes. Yes, yes, yes. So we'll have my main man, Chris Chicks, will come round here hopefully and show us. And uh, maybe we'll get Sean McNulty round. Is that McNulty, I beg your pardon, with some of his bass guitars. He's got some special ones and all. So, shall we get on to the next one then? That is the court, ladies and gentlemen, with incandescent lights in shot as well, which is why we have more brightness than usual. I ah. thought there was something going on. And magic up the other bass guitar. pa -ching! Magic man! This is, a, this is a vintage. This is a Yamaha RBX 800A active guitar it's got uh you got your gold hardware uh, so it's nice and light you've got uh similar to the court you've got this nice translucent lacquer so if, if you can see if i move it around a bit you can see the grain coming yeah, out that's really pretty nice piece of wood always good to see the wood isn't it i'll show you the the back is pretty as well all those yeah. lovely brassy yeah and you've got you obviously got a nine volt battery for your active uh on the controls here put similar to the core you've got your volume Switch between pickups and your bass and your treble. It's just a beautiful vintage guitar, and I actually this is just a, a tiny little story. When I when I got my PRS, before I got my PRS, at the same time, I bought one of these brand new. And years later, I foolishly sold it because I was poor and I needed some money. I wish I'd bought it. I remember you selling that, and I weren't a lot of money. No, no. But this one I managed to pick up a few years ago now for about two hundred and fifty second hand and this is exactly the same as my original Yamaha so I'm, I'm pleased you know to have one again I was a bit sad when I when I lost it the first time coincidentally I think that's about what was paid for the court I think second hand I think it was about 250 300 250 same sort of price range aren't they yeah well that's about it and I think it's got 24 frets on this one so you can, you've got two octaves on this one so you can go right up it's a, ever so light it reminds me I'll tell you what it reminds me of I've got a bass collection in there which um, I've turned, I've knocked the frets out of it. I've turned it into a fretless, and it's about the same weight. 
we like to just show you pretty things because we like to show you pretty things. We're so goddamn ugly that it's so nice to put something so beautiful on here. And uh, I, I think we should. Uh, I think we should show you Skelvis's base. But uh, Skelvis did. He did. He did sort of trouble you, didn't he? He, he said. He said you got to get it for me. He said you got to get it. Now this is a. You would have heard of them because they're quite common. There's a Wesley. I had to look at it because I couldn't remember. Is that like Wesley Crusher, the guy from Star Trek? Wesley Snipes. Oh. Passenger 57. Oh, yes. Get your Wesleys right. What's your boggle? Yeah, how much do you weigh? <laughs> <laughs> the biggest problem with it is its weight. It's a really nice guitar, actually. I'm but slagging it off. I was going to say, nice. Skelvis likes a heavy guitar because it's like a dead weight, isn't it's it? It's a dead weight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's yeah. exactly what he is, dead. But just to show you, girls and boys, young'uns out there, if you want to learn to play... This is a five string bass. Actually sounds great when you plug it in. Yeah, this is a passive bass, definitely. 50 quid, a five string bass. I mean, you're gonna pay 25 pound, 30 pound for the strings. I mean, these strings on here sound brand new. We could have plugged them in for you. If you really want us to plug them in, send us a little message in the bottom we can plug them in we've got amps we, we've got amps that's the scale special isn't it yep so for 50 pound boys and girls you can get yourself a nice five string bass you never have to detune again will you so it's goodbye from me mr chumley warner and it's goodbye from me mr jason bangers <laughs> we'll see you next time guys and it's goodbye from take the fear out of the gear as well Woo